Hello everybody and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator once again. Today we're doing some bush flying in Indonesia. We're actually right on the border of uh, Papua New Guinea and uh, Indonesia. And these are the three airstrips we're going to be visiting today. We're taking off out of Whiskey Alpha Delta Juliet. Uh, we're taking the uh, valley down to uh, Whiskey Alpha Bravo Juliet. And then we have to circle back around, get all the altitude we can to try to get into Whiskey X-Ray 5-3. That's if the weather permits. So I started flying out of this airstrip since it is a starred airstrip um, on the sim. And I flew around and just checked out the different ones. These two over here are my favorite. So I do want to show them to you today. Uh, one way in and one way out of all three airstrips. No room for error. That is for sure. Uh, we're in the Suzy Air Colors. If you want to check out the Mega Pack, I'll have it linked in the description below. That's where I get all the liveries from. Let's go flying. A very rainy day here at the airstrip and we are way up in elevation here let's go ahead and get the airplane fired up we have to back taxi a bit to get some more room so we can get out of here safely uh first things first we'll turn the battery master switch on we'll turn avionics one on so we can see this guy here we'll let the system start to initialize while that's happening we'll get our uh, lights all set up here for the panel need all we can that's a bug there. They turn blue when you turn those on. I don't know why. We'll hit yes on that. We're going to be using that synthetic vision today. We really do need it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go fuel boost pump on. There it goes. And we'll make sure our mixture is all the way up. Cut off. Props forward. We'll hit start on the starter. Firing up nice. We go into low idle. ITT is rising. We're checking ITT for hot. Looking for NG for hung. Go up into that low idle position about right there. And it's looking good right now. Awesome. That's what we want to see. All right, cool. So now we turn the other avionics on. And we can also make sure the fuel pump goes to the norm position. And the starter can go to the off position. And ignition is on norm. Everything's good there. Sweet. Uh, fuel upstairs is good. We wouldn't be able to start without that. If you ever fire up in the uh, caravan, cold and dark, make sure those are uh, turned on. That's the number one thing I always forget. Okay, cool. So we can turn the... Uh, those are landing lights are on. Uh, we got strobe and nav. Yeah, I'll just keep it all on for now because we're going to need everything we can here. Uh, pedo heat comes on and we're ready to go flying, folks. We are ready to go do this. So we're uh, looking like 6,500 feet in the air. Uh, so let's go ahead and release the parking brake and back taxi here. To the left. So the caravan in the sim is quite underpowered. So you're going to have to, if you're going to do this uh, trip you're going to have to take some fuel out in a lot of it. As you can see, our fuel indicators down here are showing us we're going to pick up some more fuel once we get to the next strip uh, because we're going to be flying that lightly loaded. Otherwise, we'll never get out of here. Uh, take off trim down here. Make sure that's good to go, which it is. First fly of the day. Let's test the reverser. Make sure it's working. And it is. Awesome. All right, so there's one tree over here on our left. We're watching... Uh, for our wing to not hit it. It's right over there. Get as much room as you can. I mean, it's a it's a bush airstrip, so, you know, I'm going to move that off the screen. Sorry about that. It's a bush airstrip, so you're going to have to, uh, you know, improvise a little bit here. Considering we're at a high altitude, that, uh, that makes all the world of a difference. So here's our left turn now. And we'll probably get some frame drops happening here uh, from the clouds, but that's about it. All right, that's good. Let's keep the roll going. We're going to go full power. You wouldn't use full power in the real airplane on a, on a takeoff like this, but like I said, it's grossly, uh, you know, underpowered, and we don't want to die, so that's the reason why we're doing it. Airspeed's looking great here. On back we go. There we go. Clear the trees. How beautiful is this, folks? Indonesia. I'm going to bring my power back now so we're not in the red. Indonesia. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we'll make our right-hand turn, and we got to follow the river down. I'm going to pull my power back a little bit here. I'm bring those flaps in. We don't need those in anymore. I'm going to descend to about 5,000 feet or so here. And watching our airspeed. Here we go. So this is a pretty uh, normal day in Indonesia from any of the uh, videos I've seen people flying uh, in the bush here. It's it's pretty accurate. Low visibilities uh, and just downright dangerous approaches. And that's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. All right, so down here to about, you know what, 6300 is going to work out for me today. I'm fine with that. And we'll use that magenta line if we need to. Uh, if we get lost or something, we'll have to climb up out of this stuff. But it seems to be doing well for now. By the way, I didn't show you, but before we were, when we were on that roll for takeoff, I did move my uh, mixture all the way to high idle. You don't want to leave it on low idle whenever you're flying. Uh, when you're taking off, honestly. All right. Yep, we just followed this uh, river down the way. We're going to be getting some uh, turbulence from the mountains and whatnot. That's to be expected. A little bit more power here. We can go a little faster. I wanted to say happy Wednesday to all of you. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, I actually joined the uh, Microsoft official Discord for the flight simulator. And I flew with some random people yesterday. It was a blast. Had a ton of fun doing that. Okay, let's start our descent here. We have a couple of these mountains we have to get over. And we're going to shoot for about 65 knots or so. But, uh, yeah, it didn't take long for hilarity to ensue. And somebody brought in a 747 and started doing ridiculous stuff in it. Our right, in the white tape, go ahead and go first setting a flap. You know, on a smaller airplane, we have the white arc on our indicated airspeed on this airplane we have this white tape here on our uh, our airspeed indicator so that's what we're looking for there and we're about 90 knots now and we're going to shoot for about 65 into this airport uh, might be slower I want to get as slow as I can to stall speed and you'll see why it's a very short strip uh, and it has a displaced threshold uh, in real life it's actually got a bunch of uh, you know you, you can't land there it's really high grass and rocks and all that stuff. Okay, let's go to the next setting flap. And we will be ready for our arrival here. We're going to come right over the top of these trees into this river valley and follow the river in. There we go. But how amazing is it we can do this in this sim? It's pretty amazing that this is default scenery. <laughs> I'm blown away by it, honestly. All right, 72. Looking good here right now. Get a little lower. And uh, you do have to use a little bit of rudder here. Especially with this big PT-6 on the front. Okay. A little lower here. Looking good. Let's start shooting for our uh, final approach speed now. And you might be wet, like, where's the airport? Well, you're going to see in a second. The 65 knots is good there. Looks like we can go a little slower today. Uh, stall speed's going to be over 50 knots, so we, we might do that. A little left this way, and then around these trees to the right. I'm over the top of these trees here. We're still at 65, looking good. And uh, as I make my left turn to final approach, we're going to go and kill the power. Here it is right here. A little more left rudder there. That's looking good. I'm right off the top of these trees here. A little slower if we can. Idle power, we're going to flare right about here. And reverser comes out when we touch down. There we go. It's a short airstrip. I wasn't messing around. I was not messing around, but we got plenty of room still. There we go. Kill the reverser. What an interesting arrival, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to come over here to the edge. Now, in real life, they can go past this. You see where that, that opening is up here? That's still part of the airstrip that goes that way, but uh, the default uh, Azure AI says now there's trees here, and there isn't in real life, so there was a little bit more strip to go, um, and that's something I'm probably going to go in and manually do when we have the tools to do. Oh, we have the SDK now to do it, but 
I do want to get better at it. So this is good here. We're going to go ahead and just uh, line back up t towards the uh, runway here and we'll shut down and we'll let we'll actually take on a couple passengers and we'll take them up to the uh, I guess you call it the Boogaluga airstrip. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but that'll work for me. All right. This is pretty good here because we can get rolling get a nice rolling start. Um, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and go parking brake set. All right, we're going to take a, a passenger here. We'll put about 135 pounds for that one. And then over here, we're going to put a passenger in eight. Try to keep him in the center of the airplane. Uh, and we'll put in 145 for this person here. 145. There we go. So we're just going to take two people up to uh, the other airstrip. That'll work for me. All right, master switch comes on. Avionics one comes on. Wait for that to initialize like we did before. And we're going to be making a departure to the right. And we have to backtrack the way we came in and then wrap around a mountain to get out of here. Uh, hit OK on that guy. There we go. Sweet. Let's get this thing fired up. Uh, so we are forward on the prop. Awesome. Uh, fuel boost pump. We could put that on the on position. And we'll start the starter. comes our IT T and uh, the NG put that into low idle there we go watch and make sure we don't have a hot or hung start as it comes to life there we go sweet that's a good start let's go ahead and get our uh, other avionics on here and that uh, guy goes to the norm position. Uh, and uh, starter goes to the off position. Ignition, you, you should have that on. Um, this sim doesn't have it uh, working properly, so you don't have to worry about it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we're ready to get flying. Let's go ahead and make sure our flaps are set for takeoff and takeoff trim. And we're going to put this thing into high idle. There we go. We are ready for departure, so we're just going to go ahead and release the brakes, turn, uh, and uh, and shoot on out of here. We should uh, be okay as far as that goes. Okay, put parking brakes away. Sweet. Let's uh, let's go flying. Bring our power up. Go a little bit to the left here. Here we are, and we're going to get our takeoff power set here like that. Nice, and release the brakes. This is a pretty scary departure, I'm not going to lie. It's it's very short, and you got to use pretty much all of it. Who wants to go flying? Not yet. Not yet. Here we are about right here. On back. Keep it down. And ground effect here. Watch out for the trees. And then we want to hug the right side of the river valley here. Get a positive uh, climb rate happening here so we can bring these flaps in. There we go. Now, usually I have about 10 feet to spare there, but adding those uh, two passengers really did that. Okay, let's go and bring the flaps in. We're looking good here. We are increasing our airspeed and we can get our, uh, our power setting back. So we have to go up and around this little mountain here on the left. So we might actually have to get up into the clouds. So I've flown into those two airstrips before, the one we departed and the one we just got to. Um, I've never been to the other one, so we're going to overfly it and check it out for sure. If uh, and, and just see if we can even get into the airport with the weather. You never know. But uh, wow, what an incredible, incredible flight here in, in Indonesia today. We are crossing over the uh, airport we departed a little bit ago. We're going to try to get out of these mountains and get towards the other side where the valley is. And my uh, plan of action is to come around the north side of, uh, of all of this. And then there's an opening in there. We can come down that valley and we should be able to shoot our approach into uh, the Bugaluga airstrip. So I'm just uh, continuing my climb up to about 10,000 feet or so. And uh, we'll make our left-hand turn once we clear all these mountains.
breaking out through the clouds here, getting a little bit of sunlight as we make our turn back around these uh, big tall mountains here. Look how beautiful that is. And we're coming up on 10,000 feet here, so we're going to be at our cruise altitude. Might have to get higher. You never know. Uh, but I'm going to go this way out over the valley first. So we can see it on our synthetic vision. We're going to be okay if we do that. Descending here to the left, we've seen some uh, amazing phenomena. We see some uh, rainbow happening here on the left. We got a double rainbow all the way across the sky. Yes, it's so intense. Let's follow this valley this way, and it's gone just like that. Ah, uh, amazing. You know, we've just been flying over some uh, rain showers here and there. We turn our next rat on and stuff if we wanted to, but I'm keeping it off for now because I'm not expecting any severe weather. I'd rather just fly these valleys, you know? Let's get back up to about... Mm, I'm going to level off at about 5,000 here. We're not going into a mountain. We're going to be going around all of the big mountain stuff. Not sure what the elevation is at the airport or what the visibility is going to be like, so there's that. All right, bring the nose back up. About 5,000 here. Still following this river. There we go. A little bit more power back in here. Awesome. This has been absolutely gorgeous, man, coming through this whole valley here. You can see the clouds have been pretty intermittent during this part. Just using that synthetic vision, but it is getting better with visibility, which is really helping us. We're following this river down. We get to the fork, and I think we're going to make a right from there, it looks like. Yep, a right at the fork, and then follow that down, and we should get closer to the airport. Just like that. Should have just enough fuel to get where we're going today. But this is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving every second of this right now. And we're going to turn to the right and follow this valley this way. All right, airport's up here on our right. We're going to start slowing down. So it's going to be off to our two o'clock. So the weather has gotten better over here. So we are going to try to overfly this thing and see the best approach in here. I've never been here before. I think it's right there on the right on that hill. Just over here on the right. Yep, that's what it looks like. It's got a massive hill that brings you up, up the mountain uh, because it's a stole airport, short takeoff and landing airport. So they, there it is right there on the right. Yeah, you can see. Got a big, huge hill there on the right. Oh, yeah. Well, it's clear, so we know that. We can get set up for our approach. Pull our power back a little bit here. And uh, we'll dump some flaps in, and we'll just make a nice 180 into this airport. Here we go. First notch of flaps is in. Watching this side over here. A little bit of left rudder, not a whole lot. Uh, nice standard 30-degree turn. I don't need to go steeper than that. We do have passengers on today. And we'll go to the next setting of flaps here. Pull our power a little bit more. Whoop. Man, yeah, those, uh, the turbulence from the mountains, man, they, they rock your wings pretty good. I love it. There's the strip right there. All right, slow down. We'll be on our left base. And it's raining again. It's been pretty intermittent. I don't know what the field elevation here, so we're just going with the... Uh, visual the runway itself again shooting for about 65 knots here on on our final approach we can get it right here and you're gonna see how violent this uh this runway is so it's one way in and one way out meaning that once you get to the very top of the mountain you, when you take off you go down the mountain there's 64 63 add a little more power here there we go we don't wanna get too slow and we don't want to scare our passengers today. Our two passengers we took on board. <laughs> All right. We have a lot more runway to play with here, though. So let's try to get that 65 knots just right. Very smooth inputs. Bring, okay, pull the power back. Pitch for that 65. 
Here we go. Right over these trees is where we want to be. Drop it on down, flare a little bit, and reverser comes out. Look at that. And then we have to go up this hill so we're going to push forward on our yoke. All right, come on, baby. Woo, 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 woo. All right. All right, passengers. What a fun, fun trip that was. We have rocks over here. Careful. Let's turn it around and back here, actually. That'll work for me. Yep, right about here where this little pathway is. So we're going to drop our people off today. What an interesting flight. Indonesia, my friends. What a beautiful place to fly. So if you haven't checked out this route yet, this is definitely one to try out. Definitely one of them. All right, go ahead and kill the power. Looks like we got in here just in time because here comes the rain and here comes the low visibility. So it could have been a lot worse, that's for certain. Go ahead and hit the parking brake. There we go. The lights and all that stuff's on fine. Uh, you go to off. And then we'll get our avionics off and kill the battery. There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this flight today. Checking out Indonesia, doing some bush flying. I'll see you all next time. Take care.